What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through all of Five Island right here, including uh, the Lost Cave and the Water Labyrinth, and now it is time for us to go straight to Six Island, because, well, there's a lot of stuff over there, I think, I don't know. Six Island. Alright, let's go. So yeah, we got ourselves a Poke Egg, it didn't do really... I don't, really didn't do anything with it, except just, you know, walk around a little bit. But here is Six Island, and uh, this place is very complex when it comes to, you know, it, this, the scenery. There's a part of this whole area right here that was supposed to be meant for, like, you know, a legendary Pokemon. But it never happened because, well, you know, people got lazy and all that stuff. So, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be going straight into the Pokemon Center because uh, this guy. Mm-hmm. Hey, Draven! How's your Pokedex filling up? It looks like it's impossible to get all the Pokemon by hanging around just these parts. Maybe there are Pokemon we don't know about somewhere far away. That is a thought. Well, if I can't do it, there's no way you can get it done. I'm not going to get all desperate over this. I'll keep collecting Pokemon at my own pace while I train them. That's what I do. So there's no point staying here. I might as well leave for home. That's that. Then, well, let's smell you later. Flipping you off, homeboy. Okay, so, let's see. There's two portions to this whole area, and uh, it looks like to me I'm going to be going to the northern portion first because the southern portion of this whole island, it's going to be it's going to be a big one. And before we do anything, I got to I got to go right here because uh yeah, I kind of use up a few ultra balls. There are Pokémon that, you know, I kind of want to capture in this whole area. So, what's uh 21 uh 21 uh, ultra balls right here? And you know what? Let's fill up on uh, some full restores, and I've been hearing you guys, yes, let's go right ahead and give some max potions just in case. So there you go, money well spent. Let's go. So here we are in Six Island, and before we go into the water path, there is a little something right here, right behind the Pokemon Center. We found ourselves a Lepa Berry. That right there will do something. And you're going to be encountering a lot of Pokemon trainers going up to the northern portion of this area, like this guy. I'm practicing in secret so no one can see me. Well, I can see you. I saw you. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Juggler Edward, and he is going to be coming out with a, a Voltorb right here. This, this is kind of, this is kind of scary because it's Voltorb, you know. So let's go straight to Bones Justice right here. Let's go with Brick Break to destroy that, and Bone Ring for the win. Let's continue on right here. Bone and bam. It's coming out with the electrode, so there it is. And Mr. Mime is going to be coming out. So let's go straight for Leonardo da Vinci right here and go with the surf attack. That nearly defeats this guy, and bam. Leonardo has officially crossed level 60. Yes. That means, uh, that means it's powerful. That means it's awesome. So let's go right ahead and move on. And there will be some trainers right here that we can actually battle. So what's going to happen now is we're going to go Sparky. Instead of sp instead of switch training, let's just uh, <laughs> let's just battle these people in person right here. Yes, I did heal up my Pokemon before this. So here we go, taking on Denise. And wow, she has a Chinchou. This Pokemon is an Electric type Pokemon. That like Sparky will not work. So here goes Psychic Attack. And Lantern's coming out. So there we go again. And talk to Batman gross level 37. Well, Ultra Psycho, you know, Luchino, you know, the stuff right here. Now I kind of want to find it a Chincho because it is a very good combination Pokemon, a go good do a dual type Pokemon, both electric and water type. And uh, yeah, that could prove useful for later uh, for uh, battles later on. So here we're taking on Samir, and he's coming out with a level 50 Gyarados. And there we go. Not even a Dragon Dance can save that Pokemon. That's right, Sparky. We're, we're, we're making you win. And our repel has worn off. So yeah, we do not want to battle any of these Pokemon right here. Except for the ones in the meadow, I think. The meadow labyrinth or something. Okay, so here we are. In the northern portion of... What was it called? Of Six Island. I think there's a hidden item here somewhere in these bushes. Always check the bushes. bushes. And before we battle those girls, I'm going to check these bushes. And yeah, these people you can actually battle, so... Go right ahead, and yeah, we have the right Pokemon, just in case. All right, bring it on. Hello, Pokemon. It's time to battle. I thought she was going to literally say, it's time to duel. Okay. 
Here we go, taking on Mew and Mia, and they're both gonna be having Pikachus. Holy buckets, okay. So we're gonna be switching out our Pokemon and going with Ultra Psycho right here and Brick Break onto that and that. And just like that, we break uh, their defenses and just like that, we mess them up. Look at that, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we're mean. <laughs> We are mean. Bones is kicking some butt with breaking a bunch of uh, barriers and stuff. So we got paralyzed. Should probably heal my Ultra Psycho. Give that to Bones. And let's go into the house right here. See what this is all about. If you talk to this individual, he's like, my height is 67 inches on the button. I know it. I know it. I know this. it is to this precisely because my neighbor measured me. Huh. You don't say. So because he measures them, I think this guy right here haunted the ultimate horn. Okay, so if you talk to this individual, she's like, Hera, Heracross! Big and shiny, it's a bug boss. Love it, need it, Heracross. Okay, so if you if you present her with a Heracross, she will measure your Heracross's horn. And if you get the ultimate horn, then, well, I'm pretty sure she's going to give you something uh, nice. Comment down below what that is. And here we are taking on Aroma Lady Rose. And she's going to be coming out with her Sunkern right here. One of the weakest Pokemon out there. So we're going to go with Tonks and Batman. Air Cutters. Look at that. And a Sunflora. There we go. Yes. I think she gives you a Sunstone. I'm starting to remember that now. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Or maybe that item down there is a Sunstone. I do realize, I do know that we're gonna get a sun sun at some point. So let's go right ahead and swim and see if that is indeed a sunstone. And well, let's go down. And here we have found an elixir. Okay, never mind. I thought it was a sunstone. Yeah. That made me feel dumb. Okay, so let's go right back. And there is a meadow around here. Yes. Here we are in the green path. And this is called the Pattern Bush up ahead, okay. So here is the Pattern Bush. You will be finding a lot of Pokemon trainers, and on top of that, quite a few... quite a few berries if you guys uh, keep an eye out uh, closely. Now this place is also home to a Her uh, to Heracrosses, so just be aware of that. And here we are taking on a Farfetch, Thunderbolt. And yes, level 38. Oh yes, we're growing together, and here comes another Farfetch, so I'm not going to risk this, so let's go straight to Leonardo. Ice Beam, and just like that, we have defeated this, uh, this kid right here. Alright, time to heal up my Sparky, yes. Anywho, let's see, let's see. Is there anything I need to talk about? Well, you guys have received Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Very, like, uh, it has been received well, and I do... I do want to say thank you guys. I know that I said along the way that, you know, I kind of wanted to wait until, you know, it actually happens, but a lot of you guys were insisting in doing it, so there it is. And yes, we're going to be finishing this whole walkthrough. Not like the Pokemon Heart Gold walkthrough that I, you know, abandoned eventually, you know. Still kind of a big old L for me right there. So here we are taking on another trainer. She has a chance. Now this Pokemon right here has a lot of HP. So make sure to have a fighting type Pokemon because yeah, it's gonna take a while to beat that Pokemon. Pokemon with high HPs usually, you know, they're they're usually very hard to actually take down with just one attack. And well, we're gonna be going up against all these trainers right here. But I'm doing this on purpose to go and find the Pokemon that I need, and Canterpie is not one of them. Let's go right ahead and take on this lady. I love bug Pokemon. That's why I'm here all the time. Am I the only girl that like that? Yeah. The only girl. So here we are taking on Last Joanna, and she's coming out with her Snubble. So let's go right ahead and go to Bones. Don't want to mess with that Pokemon. And and just like that, we have defeated <laughs> Snubble with two Pokemon right there. Okay, so let's see. Taking this guy. Look, look. There's a funny patterns on the ground. Funny patterns. You gotta love them. Okay, so here we are taking on Youngster Nash and. Let's go right ahead and uh, not take on that Weeping Bell like that. So let's go right ahead and, you know, let's take the risk and go with Toxic Batman. I know we're paralyzed, but we could still still manage. Holy crud. And just like that, we have defeated uh, Weeping Bell. 
And... There we go. And just like that. Okay, so we got lucky. Actually, I don't want to... I want to press my luck just a little bit. Since, you know... Eventually, I want to evolve this Pokemon. So there we go. Talk to Batman. There you go. You're back. And... Wow. We're back asleep. And just like that, we have defeated Nash. Alrighty. Okay. So, still looking for the Pokemon that I need... I want to find. I kind of want to... You know... I, I do want to use it... I do want to use it for the Pokemon League, but the thing is... I did say event like I did say at some point that I do not like using the same Pokemon as my rival. It, it bugs me, and usually they grab the Pokemon that I want to use, and that includes two Pokemon in this particular you know area, and well not this particular area, but you know in the Sevi Islands, and well, yeah. So we're gonna have to find our way, and yes, we are gonna be we're still gonna be trading, guys. Um, I do have an eye out for a Pokemon that I want to trade into Pokemon Leaf Green or Fire Red. It just includes an item, a few items. That's all. And well, let's go straight for a Wing Cutter. And there we go. Look at that Venomoth is coming out. Let's go ahead and switch it out and go with an Ice Beam. Ice Beam again, and there we go. Vance has been defeated. All right, we're putting in the work. We are putting in work. So let's go with a full restore to Toxic Batman and locate this Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and look for that. And no, this is a Caterpie. And <laughs> yeah, oh, bug stung me. And here we go, taking on Picnicker Marcy. Coming out with a Paris. Let's go with a Toxic Batman Air Cutter and yeah, look at that. It looks like uh, Toxic Batman can cover for itself, and it's now at level 41. I think the more it grows, like, well, the more it grows, it or the more it levels up, it's going to eventually like me a lot more. And here we have the Pokemon that we've been looking for. This is Heracross, this Pokemon. It is very, very hard to find in this place. You actually have to, you know, you have to actually be, pay, or you have to be very patient. The other thing, too, it is both fighting and bug type. This is, uh... Well, this is pretty much a go-to Pokemon for any trainer out there, and of course, it has to, yeah, it has to hit me with the with everything it's got. And I think we've already weakened it up right here. I kind of like to, I kind of like to think when it uses Endure, it knows that it, it it's gonna be captured, so it wants to be captured. And wow, this Pokemon is not giving me any any uh, chances. So let's go to Leonardo just to make sure this guy doesn't kill me or anything. So here is the Ultra Ball. Damn you, old. Damn you. Okay, there we go. We caught our hair crest. There we go. And, well. Heracross is now with us. It is the single Pokemon. Usually it's docile, but if disturbed while slipping honey, it chases off the intruder with its horn. Holy crud. Okay. So you guys already know from our old Pokemon, Her uh, Pokemon Go Heart Gold uh, walkthrough, we named this Pokemon Hercules. So, we're going to name this guy Hercules yet again to make sure it stays with us right there. Again, this is one of the Pokemon that I really want to use, but can't because, well, yeah, Gary. Anywho, let's go right ahead and now put on a Repel because we do not want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. And, well, let's go with Full Restore first on Sparky and Max Repel right here. All right. Bring it on. Who's the next trainer? Who wants a piece of this? And, well, you know, it just doesn't feel right if I don't use bug Pokemon. It really doesn't. Okay, so here we go, guys. Taking on bug catcher Jonah. Having four Pokemon. This guy's got himself a Yanma. And Yanma's one of the fastest Pokemon out there. Just keep an eye out for that. And then here we have Beedrill, another Pokemon that is uh, super fast. And, well, I am not going to risk that. Let's go straight to Leonardo. And Ice Beam for the win. And you know what? Let's continue with this. You know what the messed up part about this whole thing, guys, is that you cannot bet you cannot rematch any of these people in this place. It it really sucks. Probably because like this place is considered like a cavern, a cave, a dungeon, you know. And right now I am not getting any luck. And well, there we go. Yeah, this guy would have been fun to actually rematch every single time. Messed up more than half my Pokemon, and well, here we are taking on, uh... Wow, a an ecologist. 
Okay, so here we go, taking on Breeder Allison, and she is going to be coming out with her Clefairy right here. Yeah, that's not going to work out right there. And Brick Break. Brick Break again. And, well, we're going to continue on with the Onslaught right here. Bones grows to level 43. Here comes a Clefable, and I think this is like the first time I've seen a Clefable. And, yeah, we got our butts kicked right there. So, let's go with Leonardo. And Surf Attack for the win. And Toxic Batman grows to level 42. Let's give it Mean Eyes. Take away Astonish. And there we go. Yeah. We got our butts kicked. And yes, Toxic Batman is still not evolving. So let's get, let's let's see what we got right here. Let's go ahead and use a Revive onto Bones. And let's use some of those Max Potions for our good old buddy Sparky right here. Bones needs one. And you know what, Leonardo, you did some stuff right here. You know, I'm very thankful for you. So, let's see what we got. We got two more trainers. Take a deep breath! Isn't the air delicious? Yes, it is. Well, not here from where I'm living at. Okay, so here we are, taking on Laz Dahlia. And, yeah, she is coming out with a Hopip. And, well, we're going to quick attack this Pokemon. And that is not good because she just... Leech seated us, so air cutter, there it is. And looks like Tons of Batman's gonna take it from here. And just like that, Skip Bloom is coming in again. And Dahlia has been defeated. Okay, Dogs of Batman doing its thing. Okay, so let's see. Another trainer. And this is a good spot. I'll pitch or I'll pitch my tent here. Okay, alrighty. So here we go. Taking on Camp Riley, and he is coming out with a Pinsir. Holy crud. Pinsir is a Pokemon that, you know, I've always wanted to use. Kind of messed up that, you know, they didn't give it the fighting type, because it's, it is kind of like a fighting type Pokemon. It's messed up, but, you know. And he's coming out with a Her Heracross right here. And the other messed up part about this, this whole Pokemon, too, is the fact that, oh, crap baskets. Toxic Batman is fainted, and we won. So, yeah, that, that's a step back from, uh, yeah, that is a step back from making it like me. So let's go right here, and well, let's see, let's go right in and get it a potion. Like I was saying, guys, it, it's kind of messed up that, you know, later on uh, in Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, you, well, ever, you don't see any Pokemon trainers with Pinsir or Scyther, you just see see them in the in the in the what was it called in the safari zone or shoot in the the rocket game corner and well here we are in another area let's see what route are we in completely forgot blanked out right there so let's see what the route are, or what route are we in and we are in the green path yet again now another story I'm pretty sure you already heard this in Pokemon Leaf Green it was around this area right here where I ran into a shiny, a shiny tentacle. My very first shiny Pokemon that that wasn't, uh, what was it called, a Gyarados or a Cheat. It was actually tentacle, and it was around this area when I was playing Pokemon uh, Leaf Green or no, Fire Red when I was a kid. Was excited, very very excited. Didn't know what to do with it. Honest to God, I almost made it faint, but I actually captured it with an Ultra Ball, kept it in my storage ever since. Don't know whatever happened to that game, but yes, I found myself a freaking shiny tentacle, and uh, some, some of you guys are like, why would you go shiny hunting? Shiny hunting is pretty fun. It is, but at the same time, I don't really have that much patience when it comes to shiny hunting. It just happens. Um, as many of you guys already know, uh, it, in my leaf green walkthrough, I found myself a shiny Mankey, which was, you know, right there. And I haven't done anything to it. I think I nicknamed it. What was it called? Uh, I nicknamed it. What was it? Uh, Pig Hammer X, I believe. Yes, it was Pig Hammer X. <laughs> so yeah, those are the two Pokemon that you actually, the two Pokemon that I actually found here in, uh, well, in both Leaf Green and Fire Red that were shinies. If I find another one, then damn, that would be awesome. So here we are in the Outcast Island area. And we're still going to be battling some people right here. So let's go right ahead and take on Swimmer Nicole. And she's coming out with a Pika Blue. And she messed up with that. And just like that, we beat her. Yes. Sparky, you're going to get to level 40 one way or another. And 
Well, here we have two people waiting for us, so... Let's go right ahead and start battling. Let's have a 2 on 2 marine battle. Okay. Alright, so let's speed it up. And they have evolved Pokemon right here. And Air Cutter. And... Well... We're gonna go with this guy. And... Yeah, that's not gonna work. So let's go straight for a Bite Attack. And... Thunderbolt. Oh, wow, we got no PP on E. God dang it. Okay, so... Yeah, I knew this would happen. Switch out. And... Bite Attack to this guy. And... Well, let's see. Psychic Attack. Bite Attack on you. And... Just like that. Yeah, we did say we were gonna struggle a little bit, just because we had different kinds of Pokemon here. Yeah. Fun stuff, guys. Fun stuff. And... Buckets. <laughs> He's like... I, swim, or I swam here from Six Isle Port in one go. Oh, wow. He must have a lot of cardio. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Taking on Miumo. Miumo? Can't even pronounce his name. And he's got himself a goddamn Kingler. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's go with Ultra Psycho. Psychic Attack. Psychic Attack. And talk to Batman Gross level 44. Here comes a War Turtle. Let's go recover. And... Do it again, Psychic Attack, and just like that, Ultra Psycho grows to level 49. Yes. Okay, so I believe it was this area right here that was, well, yeah, it was pretty much used uh, as nothing. I mean, the story goes, the story goes that uh, they were supposed to have some legendary Pokemon. I believe it was one of the legendary Pokemon from, from uh, Johto appear in this in the in the lost cave but it never it never came to fruition just because well you know I guess the, I guess the 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 creators of the game they got a little lazy or something like that so I don't know I don't know what the whole story is if you guys know comment down below if there's a link and that way I can uh, I can learn about it then just comment down below again and well here we have another PP up and I'm having no luck at all. I battled him, or a battle be a change of pace. Now that is true. All right, here we go. Taking on Fisherman Tyler and Tyler with an L O L O R. <laughs> okay, so here he comes out with a Quillfish, and I got no electric attack. So let's go straight for Leonardo. Surf attack again, and just like that, Quillfish has been defeated. Let's go with Ultra Psycho, Psychic attack, grab baskets. <laughs> Wow, and bone rank. There it is, and there we go. See what happens when you train like this, guys. Holy crud! Yeah. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and move on forward towards this area. And look at this. There's a Team Rocket member right there. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have to switch out my Pokemon. Go straight for Leonardo. Just go straight for the jugular. Just go. And talk to this guy. There's no rare Pokemon around these parts. Not one. That burns me up, man. I'll take you and take it out on you. Okay, so he's gonna take it out on us. Okay, so here you go, another Team Rocket Grunt, and well, let's go right ahead, take on Muck, Surf Attack, and just like that, Golbat's gonna be coming out. Yeah, we got nothing. So let's go with Surf Attack again, and coming out with Eradicate. Okay, we got something. So let's go with Bones, Brick Break. Bone Meringue, and there we go. We have defeated this guy. This guy actually is a very good trainer. He's like, huh? And let's see. So listen, you haven't seen any rare Pokemon, have you? Not really. And, well, here it is, guys. The Altering Cave. So this was supposed to be, like, the place where you can actually find, I believe, Lugia or Ho-Oh. And then became, like, a version exclusive, or a... You know, it just became into nothing. It was just like a cave of nothingness. Yeah, cave of nothingness, guys. And I do believe that if you come in here from time to time, this thing will actually switch up its look and all that crud. So again, comment down below, guys, if you have a, you know, the actual story about this whole Alcast Island and all that stuff. Anywho, we're going to go back to... Well, we're going to finish our episode right here, because we have to go down to the southern section of, of, of what was it called, a Six Island. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for, you know, being as patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.